Smaller parts often can be more problematic to print than large parts. While we will be using ABS filament with Apex slicing software and Airwolf 3D Evo 3D printer, these principles should work for almost any machine software combination that is on the market today. First download the 3D benching model found at thingiverse.com, thing number 763622. This file works well for test printing small parts due to its many different print features that make up the model. Import the model into Apex and select the standard print settings for ABS material. Make sure the chamber heat and support material are turned off. You also want to remove the top cover of the printer and leave the front door open to allow heat to escape. For small parts, we want as little heat buildup as possible. Save the G-code onto a USB drive, then insert the drive into your printer and print the Benchy G-code file. The part will most likely look okay, but could be much better. The hull of the boat will be deformed and the part will not look sharp on the corners. There is much that can be done to improve the print before starting the job again. Switch to Find Settings, then try the print again. You should notice much better results this time around. The main reason is that the head is moving slower and the part cooling fans are now on. Why does this help? Less heat means less warping and deformation, so the part will look cleaner. Bed temperature is also something that changes depending on the size of the part. Once the first layers are generated, the bed temp will drop in order to prevent heat buildup. The fine settings also turn on the cooling fans, which cools each layer while it is printing before the head starts on the next layer. If the print still looks melted or warped, the part is most likely very small or has some tiny features within the part. ABS usually likes to print between 240 and 250 Celsius, but for small parts you have some flexibility. The fine settings print the part with the hot end set to 234 degrees Celsius with a 0.5 millimeter nozzle and 246 degrees Celsius with a 0.35 millimeter nozzle. The higher temperature with the smaller nozzle is to fight back pressure that builds up when printing with a smaller orifice. If the benchy is looking better, but still needs some improvement, you can try adjusting the temperature to 234 degrees Celsius. Just remember that with the smaller nozzle jams are more likely to occur at lower temperatures. Switch to full settings to change the temperature from something other than what is in the quick print menu. A 0.5mm nozzle is a great starting point, and even with small parts usually works perfectly. But if you're still lacking sharp corners, fine edges, and the small features on the part do not look clean enough, you can switch to a finer nozzle size to achieve these results more easily. Install the 0.35mm nozzle to get the most detail out of small parts. Another great way to remedy deformation at the base of a print is to add a raft. A raft is essentially a small platform printed under your part, which acts as a buffer zone between the hotbed and the part itself. The settings in Apex have been fine-tuned so that the raft is easily removed by hand after printing. To create a raft, go back to the quick print menu in Apex and with the fine setting selected, using a 0.35mm nozzle, go to Platform Adhesion and select Raft. The part is almost completely optimized, except you may notice that the small tower on the top of the benchy still looks a little melted and not refined enough. This is due to too much heat buildup in a small section of the part. In order to prevent this, we must look at the geometry of the model, as well as a setting called minimum layer time. This setting is essentially a way to force the head to take a set amount of time on that layer before we're going on to the next. In our fine settings, we use 10, or 10 seconds for the minimum layer time. This is a good overall setting, but in some cases, it may have to be adjusted. Apex will also add a cooling tower, or a small rectangular part that prints next to the main part and allows it to cool in between layers. This adds print time, but helps with the quality, especially on finer features. Apex will add the cooling tower to parts approximately 2 by 2 inches or smaller. The more parts you print, the more time the parts have to individually cool on each layer before the head comes back around to start the next layer. This obviously increases the print time, but the quality difference may be worth it. Try this with the 3D Benchy or other small parts and you'll see even greater improvements. Speed can also be your enemy with small parts. The general rule is, the faster you go, the more inertia builds up in the head when it stops to change direction. Printing slowly on small parts is highly recommended in order to prevent backlash. If you see that the details on your model are not coming out clean and you already have changed over to a 0.35mm nozzle, you may want to try slowing down your print speed. A great advanced feature to utilize is the Tweak-It Z plugin in Apex, which allows the user to change certain settings throughout the print job. 
A pyramid is a great example of a type of part that would benefit from Tweak and Z. For the first 60% of the print, we most likely won't run into any issues, but what will happen if we don't make any adjustments towards the top of the print? After previous tests, we know that the print will not be perfect unless we adjust the cooling settings. With the Tweak at Z plugin, you can use the default fine settings and the print will most likely look great. The reason for this is due to the fans turning on later in the print, as well as the hot end and bed temperature dropping to allow even better cooling. You can change these settings by entering a height in millimeters or a layer number. With the Tweak at Z plugin, you can also change things like bed temperature, flow rate, and print speed. Different printers require different settings and not all software works the same way, but most have settings similar to Apex. Airwolf 3D has set out to make 3D printing as easy as possible, but knowing how settings can affect your print is a valuable tool in getting the most out of your 3D printer and software.